What blows my mind are all these people talking about immigrant rights, but at the same time, the federal government's taking Americans' liberties away. local celebrity in there, Paul Rodriguez, who just walked by in the march. You guys probably didn't see him. Nosotros luchamos. We, the make first coalition for immigrant rights, are here to post what we declare that should be an immigration reform included in what is being proposed. We know that something's being out there, but we need to. We have a solution or more proposals for this. And what is come is to come. Maybe is more things worse or better, but we are still trying to get more things that the community needs and wants and needs to fight for. So please, antes de que se vayan, por favor, firmela. Y esto es lo que estamos entregando a los congresistas y a los senadores. Nosotros creemos que la reforma migratoria debe de empezar parando las deportaciones. Estamos de acuerdo con esto. 
We believe that an immigration reform should start with a stop to deportations now. Yes! La legalización de manera extrema. Legalization must include all immigrants that are already residing in the United States and their family members from the date that is signed into law. Right now it's been proposed that people that came in before 2011, December, will be qualified, but that meaning everybody that came in January 1st, 2012 to today will not be able to qualify for this immigration reform. We propose a fast process with low fees based on the income of low income workers without excessive fees. Legalization should have a safe path to citizenship for all and everyone, regardless of where they work, what they do, what their occupation is. I think that we think that everything and everyone should be inclusive in this immigration bill. It must be inclusive for all productive sectors of society and their families. It must be inclusive of same-sex par permanent partnerships. Uh, furthermore, it should also guarantee health care rights for everyone as well. Nosotros. We propose the new law should not bar anyone with brief absences from the country or previous deportations from eligible, elib eligibility for residency or citizenship. There must be pardons for people who have committed offenses in the past. We all deserve a second chance. Right now, people who have committed three or more minor misdemeanors will not be eligible for this immigration reform. We all deserve a second chance, regardless of when it was done. People have done things, maybe when they're youth, now they've grown, they have learned from those mistakes. We all need a second chance. Family reunification should be an essential part of the immigration reform. Petitions should be processed in a timely manner and at the three to ten year bars should end immediately. Legalization and citizenship of people should not depend on border security. They are proposing to first secure the borders before anybody can actually get some kind of document into uh, the government and this should not happen. Uh, Right now, it's being said that Luna just mentioned that Obama and his all the presidencies, he's been one of the ones that have been more deportations during his presidency. Cultural rights and the native language of immigrant workers should be protected. Immigration reform should pay special attention to work with immigrant sending countries to resolve the cause of migration. Immigration. This meaning they should invest more money in why the people are actually coming to the United States and making sure that maybe those countries need help and invest instead investing in the border patrol or border security, they should invest in those countries and stop the stop immigration where it's coming from. Gracias. gracias. Thank you. A ver, que vivan los niños y las niñas. Los adultos somos los que pagan los taxes, así que nosotros debemos demandar, no ellos, no ellos, nosotros la raza. Y cuando nos dicen, cuando ellos nos dicen que tienes una hora, nosotros les debemos decir, espérense, espérense ustedes porque nosotros les pagamos sus sueldos. Those police officers tell us, we got one hour, we got one hour, and we got to hurry up. We pay their, their, we give them their paycheck because they take it from our taxes. They work for us and they should never, and we should never have to hear from them, hurry up. No, we say to them, you wait, you work for us. <laughs> the Fresno PD, Sheriff Mims and the ICE and the sheriffs, I don't care who it is, they have no, they have no right. They have no right to tell us what to do. They have no right to tell us who we are, and they have no right to tell us how to behave on this land that is ours because it was stolen. Stolen from Mexico, stolen from the native people, y como mexicanos, raza somos indígenas todos, de mayas, de guatemaltecos, de, de, de los de Oaxaca, de Michoacán, Sinaloa, todos somos indígenas, indígenas, raza nativa en esta tierra, así que cuando nos...